we're going to learn how to use seamless textures or bitmap fills within Corel Draw. This should work in most recent versions of Corel Draw. So if you don't yet have Corel Draw X4, the instructions should still apply. So let's select Corel Draw. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a very large rectangle. You'll see this goes well outside the page, but it's going to work for what we need. We'll choose the interactive fill tool. The shortcut key for that is the letter G on your keyboard. On our drop down for fill types, we're going to choose bitmap pattern. And you'll see it automatically chooses a pattern from the existing list. Now you'll find a drop down list here, and this is going to have a few in it. You can click on other. But what I'm going to suggest is you click on the edit fill button instead. This allows you to change more things while you're changing the fill. We definitely want a bitmap pattern. You've got your drop down here and we could change it in there if we like. But I'm going to suggest you click on load. This allows you to go out to your disk and select any bitmap you want to use as a fill. Now specifically we want to work with a seamless texture because that means it can sit side by side with copies of itself and you won't see a seam. So let's just scroll through our list. We're looking at the Textures Unleashed Volume 2 Metal Collection and I'm going to choose one called Dirty Brushed Metal. We'll choose the one that's 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. We'll go ahead and click on import and it defaults to 2 inches by 2 inches. So 1024 divided by 2 inches means that we're effectively working at 520, excuse me, 512 DPI or PPI as some of you prefer. We'll say OK. You'll see the size of that and you'll see that the texture repeats itself but again there are no seams. If we go back into the dialog box, we can change it to 4 inches by 4 inches. Now it is effectively 256 dpi, and you'll see the pattern still is there, and again no seams, but this box is much larger. If we want, we can go back in, click load again, choose another pattern. Let's go with small metal grip, this time at 2048 pixels. We'll say OK, and now you see the very common diamond plate looking pattern. And we're all done. Now keep in mind, Corel Draw does supply a number of seamless textures. The largest bitmap size is 320 by 240 pixels, so they're relatively small. And they are also stored as 8-bit color, meaning they're dithered, versus the ones we've been looking at are much larger sizes and they come in full color. So while Corel Draw does supply some nice textures, you may want to look at some third-party textures because they're going to give you higher resolutions and better quality. And we highly recommend you look at the Textures Unleashed collection.